Everyone, my name is David Kaufman. I'm Assistant Chief of Community Affairs here at the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, and we'd like to welcome you here today. Um, today, uh, we are celebrating National School Guard Crossing um, Week. The, the appreciation for our school crossing guards uh, across the state of Florida. Uh, and uh, we want to welcome the Stewart family. We're very pleased that uh, all of you were able to hear to make it. We'd like to thank you uh, folks from the media that have come out today. We appreciate you being here as well. Um, we are here to uh, celebrate School Crossing Guard Week, as I indicated earlier. Um, we've got about uh, 318 school guard crossing guard locations throughout the city. Uh, we take the safety and security of our of all of our citizens very seriously, but particularly our school uh, elementary age and school age children. So, our school crossing guards play a pivotal role in that, uh, keeping them safe and secure. Um, but we want to uh, today we want to recognize. Uh, Ms. Louise Stewart, who was a school crossing guard here in Jacksonville for 45 years. Uh, she was a permanent fixture. She was the matriarch of our school crossing guard program. And uh, so uh, without further ado, I want to invite uh, Alan Mosley, who is the uh, secretary for District 2 for the Florida Department of Transportation, to come up at the podium. Mr. Mosley. Thank you. It is an honor to be here today. And uh, we're grateful. Uh, to have the opportunity to, to recognize the hard work and dedication of school crossing guards and, and specifically, uh, specifically Ms. Stewart. Uh, she has served uh, diligently and, and uh, long and gave her full measure and uh, uh, for that we are uh, eternally grateful. Uh, every school day, morning and afternoon, uh, the crossing guards help move our children safely uh, from their homes to and from school. Uh, and uh, she, was, uh, she was there on the job, uh, rain, sleet, snow. Uh, from what I understand, uh, nothing, nothing could keep her away. And uh, again, she, she provided her full measure, 45 years of service. Uh, safety is our top priority at, at the district. And uh, this program ensures the safety of some of our most vulnerable citizens. Uh, I have three children, and uh, I, am, uh, I feel comfortable when they left and are, are uh, guided and uh, uh, under the guidance of, of the cross, crossing guard program. Uh, our, our crossing guard program in this state is nationally known as, as one of the best. And uh, Jacksonville specifically, the, Jackson, the leadership of Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is to be commended. And uh, they have received uh, a number of awards uh, for, the, for the good work they've done. Uh, I think a few years ago we had the Trainer of the Year, of the Year Award. Came out of this out of this uh, group of, of competent, dedicated, and passionate public servants. Uh, but today we honor honor Miss Stewart and her dedicated service. And uh, I want to take the opportunity to read a uh, resolution uh, uh, by uh, our governor. And uh, without further ado, I'll, I'll do that. And then we want to present a, a, a token of our appreciation to the Stewart family. Uh, crossing Crossing Guard Appreciation Day. Whereas each and every school day, thousands of dedicated individuals whom we call crossing guards spend countless hours assisting our children across busy streets as they arrive and depart from school. And whereas local governments place top priority on child safety and recognize that education plays a critical role in ensuring the safety of our children and the crossing guards who assist them on their way to and from school. And whereas crossing guards provide an invaluable service to our community and deserve special recognition for their tireless efforts. Now, therefore, I, Rick Scott, Governor of the State of Florida, hereby extend greetings and best wishes to, observe, to all observing February 4th, 2011 as Crossing Guard Appreciation Day. Uh, that is, uh, wanted to make sure I got that into the record, that is uh, a heartfelt message from, from our Governor. And I think we have a, a plaque, and we'd like at this time to ask the Stewart family to come up and accept, uh, accept this, this token. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a, a plaque signed by the uh, Secretary of Transportation, Ms. Stephanie Kapalousas. And uh, it, it reads, I'd like to read it, it, State of Florida School Crossing Guard Special Award for Dedicated Service. This presentation is made for invaluable service to Florida school children in Jacksonville, Florida. As a school crossing guard, Louise, Louise, Louise Stewart safely crossed children for nearly five decades 
placing herself at risk to help ensure the safety of school children as they went to and from school. Her loyalty and dedication to her duties and to the school children she served is commendable. With appreciation for a job well done, this award is presented this fourth day of February 2011, Crossing Guard Appreciation Day. And again, this is signed by the Secretary. very much the, uh, uh, the Florida Department of Transportation. Uh, I, I just wanted to say a few extra uh, things. I, I should have done this previously, and I didn't, and I, and I apologize. I want to introduce uh, some of the, the folks that we have up here today with us. Uh, Carson Tranquil, Chief of Patrol East, um, is here with us today. But I wanted to introduce the uh, School Crossing Guard Unit, which uh, they're led by the Lieutenant Ron Norse, um, Sergeant uh, Derek Deshea, uh, who just returned from a, uh, a tour over in Iraq, has been gone for a year. We're very pleased to have him back. But we have five safety, safety education officers here in, in, uh, at the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office that work with these 316 school crossing guards. Uh, they're out there every day with them. Um, these folks do a, a, a fantastic job with the training. Um, they oversee the, they also work with the school safety patrols in the elementary, the 108 elementary schools across the district. Um, and uh, they also work with the, taking those kids every summer to uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, those, those trips are invaluable. They help teach these children about uh, our founding fathers and about government and about uh, being responsible uh, citizens. So they do a great job, uh, and I, I'd just like to introduce them. Willie Cummings, Gary Olivares, Keith Jowers, uh, Kim Lockley, and Vanessa Bass. And uh, they'll be here if you if you want. If you have any questions, any interviews, we'll certainly make them available to you. So with that uh, said, we, we thank you uh, for coming today. I want to, again, just reiterate to the Stewart family, we're very grateful for your mom, your grandma. Um, she's a permanent fixture here, and she impacted thousands of students um, for the last 45 years. And uh, we know you miss her, and we miss her too. So thank you for sharing her with us. And uh, with that said, uh, have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you.